I've been painting for probably over 30 years, uh, but uh, as far as being an artist, I've always been an artist, I think. Uh, whether it be with a pencil or uh, paint or any form of craft. I used to be a graphic designer and that was very tedious and I had to pre-plan and sit still. Uh, today I usually try to dance while I paint <laughs> and get far away and paint on a lot of things. I specialize in portraiture. I love uh, painting eyes and faces whether it comes from a billy goat or a beautiful woman or an old man. I just love capturing the essence of a person, period. I first began the puzzle pieces in 1997 and I started with pastel and I actually would draw them, cut them out with an X-Acto knife and then replace them, draw the highlight, draw the shadow and move them and it worked and it looked great. It just took too long. So I thought why not use a real puzzle piece. It's recycling. Everybody's got them and uh, I don't have the patience to put one together anyway, so it gives a raised texture. It's a symbol. It's got a straight edge, a rounded edge, and I've yet to find a subject matter it is not worthy of. People have been donating for over 10 years. I'll come and there'll be bags and boxes at my door with no note, so I don't know who they're coming from or if they're coming from all over, but I do go through thousands. I've had one person donated teeny, teeny, tiny ones to the ones that are the size of a separate plate. You know, it's just, it's like do another painting jar in my lap, you know. So I'm just really totally blessed that people are donating. And I've often been asked if I use the color of the surface. Um, I don't want to go that route yet. <laughs> It'd take me a bit too long, I think. I don't know that I'd have the patience for that either, but uh, yeah, I paint right over the surface, uh, several layers, and it, it dries fairly quickly. If I know that a puzzle piece or that texture is going to mean something, I'll go ahead and lay in just a general area and paint right over top of that. And it doesn't even have to meet the edge. And I like going off the edge as well, um, going right over the frame. Or if something's hanging on the wall, go ahead and paint it on right onto the wall, let it spill out. I'm never at a lack for ideas, ever. I'm never, ever bored. If anyone needs any ideas for anything, please come to my door. <laughs> and I have ideas jetting out of my pores. There's just not enough time in the day. Just the opportunities that are right outside my door in bags and boxes that, uh, you know, I turn into masterpieces, hopefully.